Let's start. This is the official start of the NBA segment, and we will start out by shouting out that guy from yesterday who said uh, that uh, New Orleans is definitely going to cash, and if they cash, shout me out. And I was like, whoa, that's a pretty bold uh, you know, statement right there in two different comments uh, in the chat section, and I'll be damned if that guy wasn't dead on. I mean, it was a crazy game. I thought it was going to be low scoring. Obviously, it went super high scoring. Yeah. Uh, Indiana, I believe, started out uh, up by a lot, right? They had 75 points in the first half. Yeah. So crazy stuff. And I don't know if you noticed, but right after our show yesterday, you know, we both had the Knicks and Indiana, and both of those lines moved strongly against us right after the show. But the Knicks line movement was not actually sharp. The Knicks, of course, won as we expected. Uh, Indiana, you know, New Orleans, maybe I was, I don't know, two weeks ago, I was high on New Orleans. Yesterday, I was low on them, and uh, maybe I should have been higher on them. Obviously, Anthony Davis and Marcus Cousins are awesome. The question is, uh, you know, how many, I mean, they're going to be playing a lot of minutes this year. At some point, that's going to be that's going to start to take its toll. I was sort of thinking that it might be a, a game where they would limit their minutes and that if, you know, if, if New Orleans got down, that uh, maybe they would just sort of like pull, you know, Davis and, and Cousins and that they would maybe, uh, you know, just sort of like mail in the game. But it actually is, obviously isn't what happened. Miles Turner played well, but no Sabonis. So yeah. when Sabonis went out, yeah. I didn't put it into my action. Um, yeah. I know it was one of my official picks, and, and, I'll, and I'll stand by that. But I took it out of my action. Yeah. It was the only game I took out. Um, but... It looked good after the first half, and then they just got beaten down. Sabonis is is very important to that team, uh, surprisingly important for a second year forward. I mean, it looked good, but then it was a loser. All right, so Jim, let's talk about the NBA card tonight. Let's uh, quickly uh, quote our overall records because in the NBA we are both uh, doing very well, still despite the debacle from uh, from yesterday. Although actually yesterday you weren't that bad. You only lost uh, uh, four tenths of a unit yesterday. I lost three and a half units, which is really bad because I doubled and tripled up on that uh, New Orleans and Indiana game, and even the Knicks game, which was a winner. I thought it was going to be lower scoring. Charlotte, I, I took the Charlotte team total under. That one was a loser as well. Overall, though, haters, chill out. <laughs> 31 and 18 in the NBA in my official picks, plus 11 and a half units, plus 21 and a half percent ROI, and that is way too good to be sustainable. So, uh, you know, I'm still kicking ass in the NBA. And Jim, even after yesterday's uh, modest loser for you, tiny loser, still 40 and 30 in the NBA, plus eight and a half units, plus 11 and a half percent ROI, and even that is probably too good to be uh, sustainable as well. So we're both we're both kicking it in the NBA, Jim. Well, you are especially kicking it. Yeah. My numbers are going down. Oh, no, Jim, it, look, no one, no one is, if, if, if you're double-digit positive units with, these, with this volume of plays in the NBA in an entire season, you got extraordinarily lucky. No one expects that kind of uh, ROI in the NBA. You're right, you're right, but... Um, <clears throat> you don't have to, Jim, save your, save your, save your apologies uh, for, the NBA, for the NHL segment of this show, okay? <laughs> All right? okay? Don't apologize for the NBA. Jim, say, I'm up 11.5% ROI, and that is damn good. Probably not sustainable, but I'm sure going to give it my all to uh, try to uh, try to uh, maintain positive records uh, here on out. All right, so in the NBA, uh, I do have a bunch of plays in uh, in college football and NHL. NBA, I, I don't know. I might pass on this entire card. Uh, obviously, Golden State has turned a major corner, but Minnesota, a very impressive team, and now they're getting double digits. So I was thinking maybe a shot with Minnesota. Miami, of course, off of a bad game, and they look like they're in a nice bounce-back spot here, although Deion Waiters might be out again for this one, and Phoenix, of course, looking beatable, but not too horrible. I was thinking maybe a shot with Miami on the first half or something like that, but I might pass on the entire card. Uh, I don't have a tablet here, so I don't have any of the comments, so you're going to have to be in charge of uh, reading all the comments uh, in today's show, Jim, because uh, the comments are always very uh, you know, illuminating. And, uh, and helpful and also funny. So, uh, so hit us up with some comments whenever you see anything good, Jim. But on today's NBA card, what are you liking? I like a lot. Really? Okay. And uh, I am going to make a play on the mm. double-digit mm -hmm. underdog okay. Minnesota Timberwolves. Uh, I like the spot for them. Yeah. I do. Um, now, we know – so both teams are healthy, and, and Draymond Green has been the difference in this uh, – four-game winning streak for the Warriors. He's a plus 74 in the four-game winning streak. But the Wolves have won five straight. This means so much to the Wolves, and it doesn't mean that much to the Warriors. I mean, it's not that it doesn't mean, but I mean, this is a huge, huge, huge game for the Wolves. Jimmy Butler is playing the way I hoped he would play, where he doesn't demand the rock, and he's just doing whatever it is necessary for, to make this team a winning team. And He only totaled 17 points in their last two wins and is not bothered by it, he's saying all the right things. Wolves are off to their best start since 2000. 2001. You're going to give me double digits? I'm going to take it. All right. Yeah, and the, so uh, Jansen Bonson says Golden State will continue to, to roll. He says, I'll go head-to-head -head with Jimmy on Golden uh -oh. State. Uh, my man B. Adabal uh, says Golden State going to beat that ass. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> he says Curry bounce back. You know, uh, 
I uh, I get it. I get yeah. it. Um, I get it. But I uh, I like when I get a double digit opportunity yeah. with a team that I think could be very good. Yeah, I'm going to take it, and I'm going to take it all year long. Yeah, most of the time, my handicapping on Golden State games uh, for the past couple of years has had actually nothing to do with who they've been playing. It's had it's it's had to do with uh, the spot for Golden State, and you know, are they are they in an up spot or a down spot? Because my assumption with them has always been when they're in an up spot, again, they'll cover any spread against anyone, and when they're in a down spot, you know, they're probably going to be overvalued even against a terrible team that's getting a ton of points here. And this is a a little bit different because Minnesota does appear to be so good and they're rested and you know they got to be getting up for this one and Minnesota just has a lot of positives up and down the roster you know I, I got some nice comments coming in on my side finally yeah so, uh, Daryl Lyle says I like the Wolves Searcy says Golden State at home is weird I'd take it uh, Delta 75 says I pass on the Golden State game uh, Jake Bednar says T Wolves look better and better the last four yes. games my man C Flo says Jimmy Minnesota wins tonight ah yeah I mean look Golden State 4-0 uh, straight up in ATS over their last four Minnesota 5-0 straight up and 4-0-1 and and ATS over their last five. So Minnesota's been playing great and we know that they have a ton of talent in that lineup, up and down the lineup and it, it, it is a lot of points. I would be agreeing with you, Jim, and as I said, I did bet it. I took 11. Uh, I, I might give it at the end of this show. Who knows? But uh, it just uh, it just makes me a little bit nervous. What else are you liking? You're saying you're not a like, liking a lot from this card. It's only five games. What else are you liking here, Jim? I like the Lakers at Celtics mm, okay. under. Oh, wow. Okay. This evening. Um, I'm looking forward to watch this game very much. Lonzo Ball versus Jason Tatum. Uh, Tatum has looked very good this year. 14.3 points, 6.5 rebounds, shooting 50% from the floor, 52.9 from three. Ball is shooting 29.9% from the field. In his last two com games combined, he shot 6 for 28, 1 for 11 from three. I'm sure that will improve slightly, but maybe not in the next little bit. He's mm -hmm. a young guy, and so I, of course that will improve throughout the year, but it, he might be in a slump for a little while. Kyle Kuzma's picking up the slack, 15.4 points a game. The Celtics have won nine straight after barely beating by, uh, squeaking by the Hawks, but the key is their defense. And it's Jalen Brown all over the floor. I just think that, um, I think this is gonna be a hugely watched game with tons mm -hmm. of pressure. Mm -hmm. And Irving is gonna go off. He clearly likes being the leader of this team and relishing this opportunity. And I like the under here. Yeah, I mean, we have seen the Lakers go uh, go very low scoring, uh, you know, against teams that that play that kind of game. They had a very low scoring game against Utah earlier this year, I believe. In general, though, they do like to play higher scoring. And Boston's last game was uh, was was finally an over for Boston. That was a lot higher scoring than uh, than we were expecting. So this one also kind of makes me nervous. Uh, the line has gotten bet up. The total was two oh eight on the opener. Now it's up to two ten or two ten and a half. So we can give you under two ten and a half minus one ten, unless you want under two ten minus one oh five at Pinnacle. No, I. I love the 210 and a half. 210 and a half minus 110. Yeah, I mean, Boston obviously uh, playing clamp down defense. And again, the Lakers can be slowed down by teams that, uh, that, that play that way. We've seen that this year. Uh, but Boston's last game was not like that. So that one's definitely a pass for me. That's a second pick from Jimmy the Bag. Any comments? Again, I don't have the comments. Yeah, um, it's uh, uh, LT says Boston under. Mm -hmm. uh, Jansen Bonson says Lakers on the road. Um, Says I may I might lie off, or lay off. Mm -hmm. uh, Big Easy VZ, my man. Big Easy VZ loves Boston. Mm -hmm. um, good video on YouTube. Why Lo Lonzo Ball can't score? Says Delta seventy five seventy five. Mets mm. Junkies Trap House. Uh, what, uh, I love capping <laughs> with this guy. Says uh, Boston has been a scrappy, gritty team. Um, you know, uh, yeah. Why uh, Alan Schmidt says why the under Celtics will score at least a hundred on the Lakers, and that won't bother me at all because mm -hmm. I don't think the Lakers score ninety five points tonight. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, we'll see. That one, that one's another pass for me. Uh, Jimmy the Bag, what else do you like from the other three games? Anything? Yes, I like the Knicks at mm. Magic mm. over. Mm. Uh, both teams coming to this tilt at six and four. But as we expected and we talked about, Orlando's ridiculously hot shooting has come to an end. But it's not going to be as bad as it's been the last two games. Mm -hmm. I believe they step up their shooting. They shot 40.7% from the field in their 22-point loss to the Bulls. Then they shot 36.3% in their 16-point loss to the Celtics. They went six for 29 from three versus Celtics because the Celtics defend that three-point line better than any team in the league. Uh, Porzingis is on. So I, I believe that the Magic are going to turn around and start shooting mm -hmm, better again. Mm -hmm. And Porzingis is on absolute fire. They're going to put Aaron Gordon on, and that's not going to work. The Knicks have looked very good in the fourth quarter of late. They came back from 19 to defeat the Pacers, came back from 15 to defeat the Hornets. They've outscored opponents 71-36 in the fourth. Um, I like it. I, I like the spot. Does it concern you that Orlando's troubles are uh, might have something to do with uh, all, the, all their injuries at point guard and that they don't really have a point guard uh, you know, to, to run the offense to get things going? You know, I like Alfred Payton as... Because uh, he's so long, I like his defense. Mm -hmm. and, and yes, he does distribute the ball well, 
But uh, I think this is all about Fournier and all about Gordon mm -hmm. hitting threes. Now, you're right. The distribution has been a problem. But the, the but Peyton's been out for, what, seven or eight games yeah, in a row? Right, I mean, they, right, were, right. they were knocking down buckets like crazy, yeah. you know, during this uh, tough spot. So I like it. All right. Uh, the total is uh, hasn't moved since opening. 213.5, over 213.5, 105. Minus 105 is uh, the line right now at Pinnacle. All right, Jim, the bag. So far, you've given Minnesota plus 10.5, minus 105. Lakers, Boston, under 210.5, minus 110. And, and the Knicks, Orlando, over 213.5, minus 105. I'm glad you're giving a lot of picks here because I might uh, just completely pass on this one. Other game is Miami and Phoenix. And again, you know, uh, Miami just having, there were some issues with uh, Whiteside in the last game where he only played 16 minutes or whatever it was. And so I'm thinking that Miami might be a good play here, although I believe that Waiters is still out. Do you know anything about that? He's still out, Waiter, right? I've heard that Waiters will be in the lineup oh, this Oh, really? Evening. Yes. Okay. Well, that makes me like a little bit more. And the first half, wow, it's just minus three uh, or minus two and a half at Bookmaker and uh, Bet Online. And all right, all right. Okay, okay. I'll give that one. I'll give that one. Miami, first half, minus two and a half, minus 110 at uh, BetOnlineSportsBetting.ag, Bookmaker, a few places. Minus two and a half, minus 110. Uh you understand my reasoning, Jim. Do you agree with or disagree with it? What do you think? I think that the white side issue is such a question mark mm -hmm. that I'm leaving this game alone. Yeah. Now, I understand your ideology completely. Yeah. Uh, but because white side has always been um, an interesting character, he had all the skills. He was on the Raptors practice yeah. roster, yes. or uh, summer league team. Um, pra you know, he, 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 why did he take so long to develop into a star? I think it's because of what's going on upstairs. Yes. And I can't count on Whiteside. Similar side. to me. <laughs> no. I understand. But I can't count on Whiteside to, to, to step up in this situation. Mm -hmm. I just can't. Yes. Hassan Whiteside, a tortured, supremely talented entity. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna take Miami here. First half minus two and half minus one ten. Again, it might lose, but I think it is a bit of a bounce back spot for this team in general. And Phoenix again is a team that uh, maybe not as bad as people are thinking, but uh, definitely fadeable uh, in spots. And uh, and and I think this uh, this might be uh, one of the spots. All right, Jim. What else do you? Uh, what well, else? You've got have? some great go comments here. Yeah. We can go over a bit. Yeah, uh, go ahead. Thomas Lathan says uh, he says Miami slowed it down against the Warriors. I think they'll keep the tempo slow. Again. Again. Mm -hmm. And uh, yes, I, I think so. Without Whiteside, uh, if he doesn't play very much, they'll definitely do that. Uh, Alan Schmidt likes Miami first half. Yep. You know, loves that. Two and a half minus 110. Delta 75 75 says uh, Miami under team total. Um, again, uh, yeah, and Alan Schmidt is repeating Miami mm -hmm. first half. Mm -hmm. um, uh, Jansen Bonson wants to know about Miami full game. Uh, Andrew G says waiters must be playing line is moving in Miami's favor. Right, right. Uh, we have some uh, uh, picks for the score. Delta 75 says Miami 104, Suns 102. Mm -hmm. Interesting. That would indicate uh, lean to the to the under and also the uh, both team total unders. The Miami team total under right now pinnacle 109 minus 106, and the Phoenix team total under is 103 and a half minus 107. I'm just a little bit uh, concerned about uh, how wrong I was about the uh, the totals. Uh, you know, yesterday in general uh, that may, that I'm uh, I'm just going. Going to uh, you know, I'm gonna I'm I'm gonna hold off right now. But yeah, I, I think that the under on the game is probably worth a shot, and maybe the Miami team told me. But I'm just gonna stick with one play. The first half, of the Miami first half minus two and a half, minus one ten as an official pick, Jim. Yeah, I uh, I hear you. I hear you. Uh, and and if 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 I had a better idea of what's going on through Whiteside's head, I would uh, I would maybe make the same play but i'm yeah. gonna leave it alone okay so and the full game is minus five and a half or six and i would definitely be leaning on miami on the full game as well i think i'll just hold on uh, to the first half though because um you know they might come out you know playing well and then things might start to deteriorate you never know so uh so is that it for you jim uh i don't have a play on the final game but i would like to talk about it mm -hmm. but we do have a nice comment that i mm -hmm. think will put a smile on your face thomas lathan has says has said good morning guys woke up early to say your show's great. Oh, man. Really informative. Watch it every day. Too lazy to wake up and watch it at 7 a.m. on the West Coast. He laughs, but I like the under in Miami. Oh, man. Thank you so much. Great comment. Yes, that definitely does put a smile on my face. That's what I live for. I live for these comments and uh, positive comments, and I really, really appreciate that. And one. then thank Jansen so Bonzen says, Pete's leans are money. Oh, thank you so much, Jansen Bonzon. I love the positive <laughs> comments. You have no idea how much how much I really do appreciate all this. I'm serious. It's like, you know, that that, that is what I live for. Uh, these comments and uh, and uh, I guess and I guess partially uh 
uh, decent performances in contests is the other thing that I live for. But uh, all right, so, so thank the, you so much. We yeah. finally have a line on the Pacers Pistons game because we yes. didn't have yes. one when we I woke one. up this yes. morning yes. and I was six. waiting and waiting. It is six. Is that right? Yeah. Wow. And the total is uh, two ten and a half. Wow, six. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm going to jump on that. Okay. Um, I like. Wow, I cannot. I have to see it from. I can't believe that. Mm -hmm. um, I think that's amazing. I, okay, uh, Pistons are off to their best start since 2008, coming off a three-day break. Now, is that one day too many? Um, yeah, that's a judgment call. I would say not. Probably not. I would say probably not yeah. too. But I, that gives me a bit of a pause. Um, and it doesn't in hockey, but it doesn't in, mm -hmm. in basketball. Mm -hmm. There's a lot more ball and player movement, and the team seems to really be enjoying it. They seem to be happy. They're tenth in the league in field goal percentage at 46. Now John Luer will miss his second consecutive game. Stanley Johnson is questionable and unlikely. But the Pacers have lost three straight. Indiana was outscored 56-37 in the second half by the Pelicans. And and Sabonis is going to miss his second straight game with a right calf contusion. I love this line. Yeah, man, Sabonis was out. Did we know that? I, how come I didn't have that information for this? For we, the... we didn't know that until uh, it didn't come out until an hour and a half or two hours after the game. That's why I didn't put it in with my local. You know what that reminds me of? It reminds me of that time when I I, I still can't get over it uh, when 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 I took uh, when I took uh, that game uh, because I was expecting Mason to be in goal and then it was hell of whacking guy. What am I supposed to do? What? You can't win. You can't win. You bet Indiana Sabonis is out. You bet against Indiana Sabonis is in. Yeah, yeah, but you are still 21.1. Yeah, that's right. ROI. I got nothing to complain about. Nothing mm. to complain about. I'm still positive in every single damn sport, every single goddamn sport, every single one, including uh, NHL and college uh, football. All right, so uh, you're going to take Detroit here? Uh, I am, and Mr. Okay. M uh, Mr. Gogster99, I'm all over the Pistons. Mm -hmm. uh, my man, I Retro Star is saying, Jimmy, I told you to stop sleeping on the Pelicans. <laughs> you were yes. right. You're right. No, I mean, look, I, like I said, two weeks ago or a week ago, I was I was in this videos, these videos saying that I was looking for spots to bet on them. And then I went against them. It was, but again, we I didn't have we didn't have the info. We didn't know. We didn't know Sabonis <laughs> would be out. Who knew? But a lot of people are onto this Pistons train. Uh, yeah. Alan Schmidt says Drummond's changed his free throw shooting. Now he shoots more than 70%. He also is averaging 2.7 assists per game. Mm -hmm. They're giving him the ball down low, and he's got a big smile on his face. He's playing the kind of basketball that he wants to play. And there's lots of ball movement, lots of player movement. This Pistons team is for real, mm -hmm. and this line is an easy spot for me. All right. Well, we can give you six minus six minus 115, which is bookmaker bet DSI bet online sports betting.ag. There's no uh, pinnacle line that I'm seeing right now. Now, but if you want, we can give you the pinnacle opener if you want to take that one. That might be slightly, slightly better odds. I'm great with minus six, okay. minus 115. Okay, minus six, minus 115. So to review, Jim the bag, four picks. Minnesota plus 10.5, minus 105. Lakers, Boston under to 10.5. New Orleans, Orlando over 213.5, minus 105. And Detroit minus six, minus 115. And I'm on just one play, Miami. Uh, first half, minus 2.5, minus 110. And that's it. We've covered every game, Jim. Yep. Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to our channel. Now we've put a lot of work into producing all these free videos, so please help us out and keep all our content free for you forever by simply liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing. Now not to mention a visit to our industry leading website will warm the hearts of all our SBR employees, especially myself. Now the links are over there to the left, uh, so do check those out. Thanks for watching.